So how have you been? Hopefully better than me. I well, considering I haven't been, you know, I didn't jump off a bridge uh, because I saw some wolves. I think I'm doing a wee bit better than you are. All right, all right. Don't slander me now. I'm going to slander you if I want to. Oh, God damn it. What? Nothing. I'm just laughing at this situation because it's just my fucking luck. Well, if somebody else picked you up and, you know, you got help and then you came to me and I'd been waiting there for five days. What did you say, said then? I would have been honest with you. You wouldn't say that you, you got cut off and you had to fight off five bandits, you know, bloodthirsty bandits or something like that. I'm not Sorry. A second, I can't hear you and I'm trying to hitch up my horse. I said I'm not a liar. What are you doing? I'm just, you know, asking. I swear. I'm not gonna live this one down, am I? Oh, I'm sure that we'll have worse. It's alright. I'm better at jumping off bridges than you are fishing, so it's fine. I think you know anything about me fishing. Right, so you learn anything? Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, still shaking the buzz a little bit. Um. Uh, sorry, Danny went after Euclid. Do you know Euclid? Is that even a name? Yeah, it is. He's another fence. Nope, never heard of him. You're saying that he's going after other fences now, in yeah, general? Yes, in general, yeah. He, he did it in the middle of Valentine while there was a ton of people there, too. He's not being subtle about it. I'm just gonna be getting him locked up. Yeah, sounds like I should just lay low. He's gonna fuck himself over. I should better let other people be the, the method uh, to his madness than you, yourself, eh? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I'd like to think that I think about things, but... Uh, I mean, the bridge and all that, maybe it doesn't bode well for that at the same time. I perhaps you start thinking about things more. Might do you yourself a service there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... You haven't heard anything about Hawk, about who they think might have... Him. No, I didn't hear anything about it until, um, uh, Jody told me. And that's all you've heard, then? Yeah, that's all I've heard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other, then? Uh, I've been laying low, spending time with Bellatrix. I would say our sweet on each other. Yeah. I think I heard I she was last with a deputy. Yeah. It makes me smile a little bit every time I see him, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it is sort of funny. Yeah. She knows about my past. Doesn't know what I do now, though. And, uh, how long you plan on keeping that from her? I keep it vague. She knows I'm not straight-laced, but she doesn't want to know details. All right, well, that's just smart. As long as you're not leading her along thinking that you're just a law-abiding citizen when you're not. Yeah, no. Because, I mean, she as knew. as Jody said to you, you can't be man maintaining the facade, the, the facade of being, you know, normal, law-abiding. Uh, well, you do the sorts of things that you do. Eventually, it catches up with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's been far, you know, there's been many a lass that waits for her outlaw. <laughs> waits for her outlaw to come home to her. You know. Ultimately, it's going to mean that you're not going to see her as much as you might want to. Yeah. 
Well, luckily we both lead busy lives and we're, uh, well, we're independent. Do you think as a doctor she'd keep her mouth shut? Well, she's met her, she's state funded, so she's obligated to report any dangers to other people. So do you think she would no matter what, or do you think she'd bend that rule? A card reader never tells what happens during a card reading. So I assume you're trying to use fancy a fancy way of saying I should keep her mouth shut? Yeah. All right. If it's a card reading, she should keep her mouth shut. I so we call for a card reading is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Card reading on the side of bandaging, yeah. stitching, blood removal, yeah. all that. <laughs> She's got no problem helping people, no matter who they are. Hey, well, I, you know, I don't mind her helping me, but she can keep the cards away from me. I don't mess with that sort of stuff. It's interesting. Do you hold any beliefs, if you don't mind me asking? I born and raised Catholic. Mm. Might come in useful that way, if you know her. Yeah. Depending on how our associations go in the coming weeks. I mean, she treated Colt when I brought him back. I uh, sorry, I didn't know. I don't know anything about this Colt fella. No, it's all right. He was part of the Cattleman Gang. All right. I was on decent terms with them at the time, and Colt was kind of mentoring me. He taught me how to pick locks. Well, no. Clayton taught me how to pick locks. Right, so you're almost sort of joining the Kettleman gang at one point, you think? Yeah, if it wasn't for them being locked up, I'd probably be there. But uh, I'm glad I didn't. I'd be glad there, too. They weren't too smart from what I've heard. Oh, don't kiss my ass. I just fell off a bridge. Wasn't trying to. I'm just joking, Sai. I'm not serious. Okay, to wear that. I can't quite read you yet. It's the accent. I know people sound. People think Mara's is angry even when I'm not. They just assume. A lot of people assume things. It's a lot of people in trouble assuming us. Yeah. I try to give people the benefit of doubt, but. Doing that at the same time can get you burned. Mm. I, uh, found the fellow who's been threatening Bella as well. The one that really set me off because it was, uh, anonymously done. But I finally made the connection to who is doing it. I just don't know if he's connected to Danny or not yet. Well, how'd you manage to do that? Um... Well, Bruno Sanchez, I don't know if that name rings a bell to you. He approached me a while ago about selling me a navy, a stolen one. He approached me in Blackwater. Said he heard that I was a gunsmith. And, uh, asked if I bought stolen weapons. And I said, well, if I don't know where it comes from, it's just another used gun. And, uh, he said, all right, I'll contact you in a few days. And I'll tell you where to meet me. I got a telegram saying, we'll meet on my terms, and we'll make this deal. And I was a bit apprehensive about that. I'm smarter than that. I don't meet. Aye, that sounds like trouble. There's no yeah. reason why I can't meet in town, especially if he is walking around in town. Yeah. Yeah, he approached me in the middle of a town in front of all of the rangers and um, medical staff and pulled me aside. So, he, he wasn't exactly subtle. But his telegram was threatening, so I was cautious. 
his first meeting point was, uh, I believe it was Strawberry. Yeah, it was Strawberry. And he said, I have five minutes to get there. And first of all, why would somebody make a business deal in a town that doesn't have a bank? I and only give you five minutes to get there. So you can't think about it. Mm-hmm. So I took my time getting there. And sure enough, I got an angry telegram saying, Time's up. I'm not interested anymore. And I replied to him, Well, with I get plenty of business. I'm not desperate for yours. If you really want to get rid of that, though, pick a town with a bank and I'll meet you there. And he told me Valentine, and I missed it, apparently. I didn't see it. He got shot in Valentine and shot someone else. And... <laughs> All right, sounds like he's an idiot. Yeah, he's not the brightest. But because of my connections with Bella, I know a Bruno Sanchez was not treated, but... In his telegram, he said he was treated. Well, who did get treated? Juan Alvarez. And Juan Alvarez is going around talking about how Bruno robbed him in Al Armadillo. And Bella's been getting a lot of anom anonymous telegrams from Armadillo. So, we kind of put two and two together. I saw this Juan Alvarez the other day. He looks just like the fellow but talks with a hyped voice instead of a scratchy one. I confronted him. And sadly, I got a warning from the law about it, but they were understanding given the circumstances and the evidence I provided. So they let me off with a warning. How and do you I mean you, co you confronted him? What'd you do? And put a gun in his face. Oh, I didn't like that. What? The, the law don't like it when you do something like that. I put a gun on somebody who had just shot me right outside of town. And I shot back at them and ran away into town and tried to get treatment. So I pointed a gun at them when they came back into town. And they tried to tr they threatened to charge me vigilantism for pointing a gun at him. Yeah. Even though he yeah. just tried he just tried to rob me and shoot me. Yeah. They uh they let two people go who threatened to kill me and attempted to kill me at one point the other day. Uh that was that Rio fella I was asking about. Um so I told them until they start paying attention to their reports, I'll handle myself. Aye, what can you do? Yeah, they exactly. say you can defend yourself, but by that they mean you can't, uh, you can't shoot until they're shooting at you already. By then it's usually too late. Yeah, yeah, it's usually too late. Um, but... There's enough evidence now that Juan Alvarez is most likely this Bruno Sanchez because he's been going around to everybody now telling them that I robbed him making a big scene about it trying to get drag my name through the mud which is fine let people worry about me I don't care have you been questioned about it and the law questions me I told them straight to their face what I did and said if I did something wrong well I'd do it again but you gotta understand it was out of fear. Hmm. I'm a tough guy, don't get me wrong, but when you got so many fucking people coming after you, you get a little itchy to let somebody just walk away again. Oh, hey. You gotta be smart about it, not do those things in tone, don't. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we went ahead to talk to Hawk in the middle tone. Because I thought that he'd have the sense not to be doing something in the middle tone. In the bank. With a bunch of people around. But, judging by the fact that the fellow's dead now, he probably didn't have too much sense either. Yeah, I'm curious what was done there. Okay. I think... I think there's a possibility that someone did it to make you all look bad. Aye, there's very much a possibility. But who'd be doing that? Who'd have that much of a grudge against us is a thing. Well... The only person who'd have that much of a grudge would be Hawk himself, I would think. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've had me differences with Tommy. I've had me own scuffles with Tommy. I've shot Tommy. 
you think about what I'm dealing with, Danny Kerrigan is so eager to out a, well, experienced gunsmith from a weapons trade, when I'm pretty damn sure the only thing he knows about guns is stealing them. Why, well, probably. Surprised he hasn't just tried to charge a racket, you know, do a racket with the, with the uh, different fences. He might actually be somewhat more successful that way than uh, just trying to off him. Yeah, he held up Euclid in the bank at Valentine and uh, took everything he had. I think he might have even cleared out his stock in his safety deposit box of any guns. It's a possibility by the details I was given, basically. He mm -hmm. told Euclid if he ever catches wind of him selling another illegal firearm that will kill him. I don't understand the purpose of that. A black market is only successful if it is built upon anonymity. And I anonymity. have multiple sources is going to work out better for you. If he really wanted to have his piece of pie, he'd be trying to use that muscle he's got to, to drum up a racket. You know, a lot of people would just pay him a wee bit, rather than have to deal with that. Yeah, exactly. He's not smart enough for that, though. Why don't people just do run rackets? Why don't they try? Instead of, no, I'm going to kill you if you do this. Say I'm going to charge you. tell me he's smarter than me, and I, I don't see it. I, I don't see it either. Not at all. He's manipulative, but he's not so. Why, of course, well, from what I what I saw when uh, I was around him, I think, one time. He plays the sort of, you know, nice guy, everybody's friend sort of, sort of character, you know? Yeah. To people's faces and tone, but I suppose he's changed a wee bit about how he's operating. He's doing that sort of stuff right in tone. What's your thoughts on Speedy? I think I've met him one time. I just know Speedy's running with, uh, Danny. I know Speedy has ties to Klaus. Hmm. Really didn't know too much about any of them. Yeah. I'm thinking about meeting with Euclid and talking about the specifics of what was actually said to him. I couldn't hurt so long as he doesn't go giving your name to people about things. Talking. About the fact that yeah. you talked. Well, all right. I was hoping that I really don't know where to start with hoping to hear something about who people think might have killed Hawk. I'm just worried that if the deputies see me around, they're going to start questioning me. I mean, if it's any consolation other than the gun, I wouldn't recognize you. I wondered, but if they say hello to me or they came, come up and ask a question, they're going to know who I am. I suppose that's true. How about you don't be going over that bridge anymore? Alright, alright. Might be the smart thing to be doing. I'd say only use that bridge in dire emergency, you know, like, there's no other way for you to go. Maybe you're trapped. Yeah. Maybe fair. death's on your heels. Are you gonna hit a bank with Morgan? I'm uh, not planning on it in, the, in the future, no. Not any time in the near future. Yeah, he told me the crew he was working on, and I have my concerns. Why? Who's the other people he's talking about? Rye and... Ricardo. I I don't want to work with uh I don't want to work with Rai. He's sort of an Egypt. Didn't know anything about Ricardo though. Other than you said that you did a bank job, what am I think? Yeah, I've done two with him. He's not bad at cracking safes, but I don't know he runs his gums a little too much, as uh, Jody would say. Morgan's probably gonna be grumpy if he hears that you're running around with me though. <laughs> He specifically pulled me aside in the telegram office and said, Don't you dare steal Bonnie from me. I like you both a lot. 
And I said, Bonnie does what Donnie, but, but what Bonnie wants to do. He was flirting with me in front of Bella. He was flirting with you, right? Yes, he was flirting with me. He's calling me a handsome man. I he gets a little bit obsessive over different people. Originally, uh, Morgan and Flo and I were gonna try and work on putting something together, and I think if you had been around back then, we might have done some things together, but. To be honest, I've been on a different path than uh, Morgan has been for quite some time. And as you say, that vigilantism streak is sort of worrisome. Yeah. He just doesn't get it with some things. And I think that if he gets in deeper, he's just going to get himself hurt. And I'd like to not see him get hurt. Yeah. I have a dark worldview, so I won't comment on my thoughts on justice. <laughs> I wasn't that... talking about justice. No, no, that's why I have an issue with vigilanteism is all. Oh, I see. I just think that Morgan's the kind to... He sort of makes friends with everyone and then he thinks he needs to fight everyone's battles. He tries to be everybody's hero all the time. And that's the sort of thing that gets you in trouble. Yeah. He means well, that's where it's... Oh, I know, I know. That's the thing, is he means well. He's not doing it because he doesn't mean well. You can't help but being fond of the fella. Yeah. I'm just curious, once you're gone, if you don't mind my asking, what do you want to achieve with what you're doing now? I mean, sort of the same as everybody's goal. Make it by in life. Using what I've been given, what I've, the hand I've been dealt. I suppose that's true. I wasn't sure if you had something more in mind than just getting by. Not yet. I kind of want to get back to my roots. What's that? Been on the road a lot. I told you a little bit about it, smuggling. Why? I do miss moonshine, and that's for sure. All right, Morgan said, "Acting my strange, strange wouldn't mean by that." I meant to meet with you yesterday, but we ended up busy, and I didn't get to check my telegrams until today. Right now, unless you have something to tell me, I don't have anything for you, and I'm likely to go to bed soon. I haven't really learned anything new about anything. As I've been laying low. Take care. Save. Oh, no. Yes, I am sorry. sorry. You right. Peter Gray. I'm on fire. That's my Peter Gray impersonation. 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 Ah, uh, how much? Do you I need to get off? Uh, uh, I, was... I don't know. You want me to take a look? Here, I'll just uh, give sure. you what I have. Hang on. Didn't take this off me back. Hang on. It's all right. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was not what I meant to do. It's all right. I slipped into mud. Don't they call that an Irish kiss? I uh, I don't think so. That's what Bella told me. Oh, this ain't bad. I'll I, I know it's not you. terrible, but... <laughs>